Jedediah, oh, hi. What's going on, Noah? How you doing? How, how are you? I'm excellent. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, by the way, look, you dr you dressed way nicer than I did, man. Look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, just, I'm in a Disney hoodie. How dare I? Look, look at you me. You're only seen from, from here up. I'm not even wearing pants. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Everything's still virtual, but you know we're getting there. We're making progress, you know. So yeah. Hi. Good. Uh, good afternoon, or good morning, or wherever, what, whatever time it is in the world. Yeah, I don't know. We're on the virtual, so we're here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I watched the screener to Finding You. It is an incredible movie. Uh, Beckett, you know, is a superstar who happens to fall in love with an ordinary girl headed to college in Ireland. Um, how was it like to film a movie inside of a movie? Because that's what your character is. He's like this mega superstar that all the girls love. And, you know, he's out in Ireland filming a movie while Finley, the girl he falls in love with, is, you know, um, she is going to college there. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so distracted, but I love you. I love your accent. I'm a big fan of accents. Where I, are you from? I'm from Georgia. I'm from Athens, Georgia. Georgia. Love, from the I South. Love, I just had to say, you were so articulate, and I was like, I was paying attention to, to the way you were saying yeah. it. Yeah. So could you briefly give me another, another, yes. uh, yes. uh, just yeah, a brief. So like, right, so how was it like to, uh, you know, cause your character Beckett is filming a movie inside of a movie. How was that like to, you know, take on that role and to do that? Sorry, you caught me off guard, you're awesome. Uh, it's okay. So, uh, it was it was awesome, and I've had previous experience in like that kind of world, like a world where dragons exist or magic exists, like playing, you know, working on stuff where I played a vampire or a warlock. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just that kind of elevated reality, and um, it's uh, it's it wasn't really that hard to to imagine anything because I didn't really have to. All of the explosions mm -hmm. were real. The fire was real. Um, it was all there and all of the people that were, all the actors made it super real for me. So most of the time over there, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm just like, I'm <laughs> a feather being flown in the wind and these other people are the wind. So, yeah. Beckett Rush. Jeez, come this far without being bothered, all right? Look, if you keep quiet, I'll give you an autograph or something when we land. Just no body parts. I stopped doing that a while ago. Oh. As this movie is focused on Finley heading to college in Ireland and Beckett, you know, filming his next movie there, uh, we really get to see these two find a better version of their selves, kind of like, you know, what you were just saying. But what have you learned about your own self that has made you become an even better person? Oh, that's a great question. I think, uh, you know, going back to the to the theme of things aren't always as they seem, I think, you know, we all have a we all have a tendency to not really look into situations too deeply before coming up with some preconceived notions. And yeah. uh, and I think that was so important for me to be able to see it. There, there was so much more depth to Mrs. Sweeney's story and there was so much more depth to Beckett's story and to the magazine covers and everything that she was seeing. And mm -hmm. Finley didn't just accept what she was being told. She really dove into it, really looked into it. And I think that has really impacted me in life because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to walk away judging a book by its cover. And I, I think it's really taught me to right. look deeper. You know what, we see Beckett in this film, you know, really find himself. And I think it's so important to express to viewers as we're all in a world that we're all trying to find ourselves and what we want to do in our own lives. But you know, when did you find yourself and know that acting was the career path that you wanted to take? Um, I've told this, it's not, it's not, it's very anticlimactic, um, mm -hmm. but I, I was, uh, I, I dropped out of college, I had, um, because I, I knew that wasn't for me, what I was going yes. to school for, and, and then I started working in construction, building houses, but I knew I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life, and I was very, very confused, I was about early 20s, and uh, mm -hmm. I just happened to be at a party one night, with my friends and I told a joke and lucky me, everyone laughed. Um, and <laughs> my buddy, Justin, um, tapped me on the shoulder after, after everything kind of settled down. And he was like, Hey man, you gotta go do something. And I was like, it was just like, he, he didn't say like, didn't take any more time than that, but it struck me so much that I didn't sleep that night. I woke up the next morning and I was like, I, I gotta do something. And then I landed on that. Yeah. 
Yeah. The audiences are going to absolutely love this. Finding you in theaters May 14th. And, you know, that's the great thing about being in the press is you actually get to screen it. So, yeah, I, I loved it. I will actually go take my family to watch this. So. Oh, thank you so much, Noah. Have a absolutely. great day. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.